Hello, uh, YouTube. We're here in the uh, city of Hollywood. We've been uh, contracted to uh, offload this uh, this container. So um, it actually has to go here in this uh, parking lot here. I parked Big Flipper in here since uh, the driver uh, is going to have a hard time having a back end here. I'm going to boom over it, lift it, sky it, and swing it over here. Uh, Thankfully, there's no uh, overhead lines here. There's that palm tree there, but I should be able to sky it close enough to my truck where I should be able to uh, clear it. We'll just have to get up there and rig it. Like a weed. Can you pull forward a little bit? Uh, yep. Yeah. Just a little bit. So I pretty much set my uh, my rigging. So my container link. This will go here, and this will attach there. Very simple. This thing that is empty. So I will only be utilizing one cable, and there's a purpose for that. They want the doors facing the opposite way of that I'm swinging, so so I could spin in midair. I'll attach a tag line at the bottom. Since it's one single cable, it should spin relatively easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
center, so slightly different. Join these two. center for my center hook now we'll uh, push boom over that my yeah my green line is free spool cool that's pretty much attached Here's this one, here's this one. Let me just double check my, my hookups, make sure everything's in line, that my shackle is uh, attached directly to the, to the, well that the sling is attached to this, to the wide mouth, and then that the uh, pin is attached to the, to the container link. Okay, sounds like we're good. Cool. Now to uh, step down. Hold on. Yeah, let me let me lift it up. I'm gonna wait till traffic comes over, stops that way in case if it swings out or anything, it we'll kill somebody, you know. <laughs> makes sense so sometimes when you attach your rigging you always think that the container is perfectly even but the reason why it's like that don't let it spin grab it no
Where do you want it at? Right there? Uh, a little bit more back, but on this side, it's just cool. Right there? How far over from the wall? I mean, from the gate? Get right there. Right there. What happened? The picture is saying this way, right? Well, I mean, I assume that that's the open part, yeah, so I guess the open part. that's what you guys are going to use. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Okay. Yeah, thank you.
No, but right now when I back up, if you could uh, stop traffic for me, because I can't see. guys well big flippers put away we have the container out here already uh in its position so uh from hollywood thank you guys peace out hello guys and welcome to josh's breakdown with your host alex i'm outside with uh with big flipper out here and we're gonna pretty much go on uh, and talk about some of these uh, these talking points on uh, that normally pop up on the on the comment section, and hopefully this sheds some light and answer some of these questions that we see over time on our videos. The first point that I would like to touch would be why I use the single line on this lift. So as you notice, when I had to pick up the container, obviously I had to place it on a different part of the parking lot. Uh, if I use a, a block, basically a snatch block and two lines, it makes it a very, very difficult to, to spin it around because at that point you're fighting the lines. The lines want to naturally go into their natural state, which is basically the orientation of the boom. And as you're spinning it, you could spin it, but it makes it very, very, very hard. So let's work smart, not hard. You could use a single line on, on this lift just because um, the container empty uh, normally weighs anywhere between 3,900 and 4,800 pounds, depending on the make and model and, and density of the metal that's being used on the containers. On this one, obviously it was missing a, a side. So by going with the single line, it, uh, it enables for, for me to spin it and, and pretty much not have to worry about fighting the cables. Um, obviously the, the single line, my single line actually on flipper happens to be 7.8 XX IPS. Um, and it has a working load limit of 20, 25,000 pounds, which is way above the, the rating of this container. So I had no worry about, about uh, the cable snapping or, or, or breaking or, or having a, any type of catastrophic failure. Another point that uh, I want to make was um, the fact that I lifted the, the container. I was hoping that the gentleman that was closest to it would, would grab it. Obviously, that could be very dangerous. The moment I picked up, it wanted to spin on me. You know, unfortunately for me, the, the guy seemed, uh, being that he's from a, a cannabis uh, business, he probably uh, wasn't uh, paying attention. So in order to avoid these things, uh, normally we, we could attach some, some, uh, some taglines to avoid that. The reason most of the time we don't use taglines is because on the, on the rotators, 
um, when we lift the, the unit, um, it's pretty much at a, at a distance where we could grab it with our hands and, and not have to worry about it being so high. Uh, cranes, for example, have these, these containers or, or any of these types of uh, lifts that they're doing. They have it hundreds of feet in the air. And obviously no one's a hundred feet tall. So you have to attach a tagline, which looks something like this, which is just a rope pretty much to control it from spinning or hitting something on that's in, in tight quarters. So in the, in the near future, I will, I will be using some of these to, to avoid having to rely on, on, on other people. Uh, another comment that we normally get is, uh, oh, you could have used a, a, a wrecker or you could have used a 35 ton or uh, integrated, um, basically a, a non-rotating boom or truck. And yes, absolutely, yes, these, this type of job definitely can be, can be accomplished with, with, uh, with a straight stick, with the integrated truck. The problem being is once you have it in the air, yeah, you could drop it, but you don't have the capabilities to be able to spin it or, or place it off to the side or, or do any of these. It would take multiple lifts and, and dragging to get it over to the place. That's where rotators come in. Basically, you pick it up, able to swing see with the limited weight of this container, pretty much swing it all the way around 360 and, and, and place it um, anywhere where the customer desires. So this is where the, the ease of the rotator come, comes into play. The last point that I like to touch on is uh, I get a lot of comments on appraising me for, for having my truck uh, uh, very well organized. And there's a reason for that. Um, on these jobs that we get on the side of the freeway require us to, to get the job done uh, in a safe manner. And part of that safety is clearing the road. If we don't clear the road in a timely manner, it could uh, potentially lead to a, a secondary accident, uh, even though, you know, how can you miss a 75 ton rotator with flashing lights and a boom in the air, or even police officers and fire department uh, personnel get injured by the secondary uh, accidents. So I like to have my truck organized and clean. So when I go to get a piece of rigging, I know it's going to be there. And it is hard to keep up with it with the amount of volume, volume that we have here at Pepe's with our lifts and, and our recoveries. But it's just, a, it's just a habit that you form uh, of having to, when you use it, put it back. It's almost, uh, that's well, where I learned that from was from my uh, wrenching days. So when you use a wrench or use a socket or a ratchet or, or an impact gun, once you use it, you put it back where you found it. And when you go back to use it again, it's going to be there. It's the same thing with the, with the record, with the rotator. Well, guys, hopefully that answers some of the questions that you guys uh, submit in the comment section of our YouTube channel. This was fun and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.